Here's a complete beginner's guide to setting up and installing Midjourney. I'll cover installing and creating a Discord account, signing up for Midjourney, and how to generate your first image. There's timestamps in the video, so skip ahead if you already have Discord set up. All the relevant links will also be in the description. Step 1. Installing and creating a Discord account. Midjourney can only be accessed through Discord at the moment, which is a free instant messaging platform. Go to discord.com and download the platform. Make sure to download the correct version for your operating system. I'm on Windows, so I'll download the Windows version. Once Discord is downloaded, open up your downloads folder and double click to run the Discord setup executable. We need to create a free account to actually use Discord. Click register and fill out the relevant information. You'll need to choose an email account for this. Click continue when you finish filling out your info and go through the verification process. We now have access to Discord. Before we can set up Midjourney though, we have to verify our email account. Just head to the email account you signed up with and open up the verification email. Go ahead and verify. Great job. Now that we've set up a Discord account, we can sign up for Midjourney. Step 2. Go to the Midjourney account website. The link is in the description. Make sure you're logged into the Discord app and click sign in. This will link Midjourney with your Discord account. Click authorize. Now you can see the Midjourney home screen. While Midjourney sometimes has free trials when new features come out, you typically need a paid subscription to access it. I think it's worth trying out since you can always cancel your subscription without any risk. Click on the Manage sub option on the left. This brings you to the subscription window where you can purchase a plan. I recommend getting the basic plan to start with. The standard and pro plans have a few extra features and more GPU time, but you can always switch over. The basic plan has everything you need to get started and is the one I use. Make sure to check monthly billing if you want to try this out before committing to a yearly plan, which saves money per month, but then you have to pay for the entire year up front. Click subscribe. Enter your payment information. Now click subscribe. You can now manage your current subscription. This window displays the amount of GPU hours you have left, which is essentially how many computing resources you have to generate images. You can always buy more hours if you need. Step 3. Open up Discord again. To start generating images, navigate to your direct messages and click on the Midjourney bot. Type slash imagine into the direct message prompt to ask Midjourney to use the AI model. Press space and type in a prompt you want Midjourney to generate an image for. It looks like we have to accept the terms of service first. Once you accept, you'll receive a welcome message with a link to the Midjourney channel. Scroll up a bit to see your images being generated based on the prompt you entered. Midjourney generates images in sets of four, which you can see in your image grid. Once it's done generating, click on the image grid to zoom in. Congratulations, you've now successfully created your first AI images. If you need any questions answered or want to chat with other users, you can always navigate to the Midjourney channel. If you don't see that, go to the Join Server link, which is in the description. Here you can see announcements for new features and bug fixes. Look inside the newbie rooms to see what other new users are creating. I suggest you take a look into the prompt FAQs room, which will have answers for almost any questions you have. I'll be making more videos in this beginner series for navigating the interface using the settings options and generating high quality images. So make sure to subscribe and follow along.